Hi there, and welcome to the Dr. Aaron Show. We come together each week to know the truth, live on spiritual principle, align with universal law, and really birth our core soul's purpose together. So this week, I want to talk to you about the number one thing that changed her life. It was actually a client I was working with this week, and one distinction that you can put into your life, implement for you to change all four areas of your life, your money and career, your relationships and love, your health and vitality, and of course, your purpose and calling. So let's do this thing. Welcome to the Dr. Aaron Show. May you live your truth. Hi guys, welcome to the Dr. Aaron Show. I'm really honored to go through some things this week with you for you to get your mind right. We're going to be going over the universal law distinction this week, which is the law of non-attachment. Um, I'm going to give you a journal prompt, an affirmation, a quote, all the above for us to set the precedence of this week intentionally into our highest embodiment. So if you are new to the show, I'm Dr. Aaron, Dr. Divinity. I'm the founder of Spiritual Psychology School and Soul Society Community. I am here to really help each and every one of us know the truth, diving into metaphysics, universal law, and spiritual psychology, which is basically clearing out the soul for us to be the full embodiment and to receive the abundance of the universe and us to really truly know and birth our soul's purpose of this lifetime. You have a very specific soul assignment that has been written on your DNA and the cells of your heart for you to live out, for you to complete and to live your legacy for the world. So a few things before we begin the podcast today. Number one, I would love it if you give a five-star review and subscribe to the podcast. You can actually ask a question in your review as well, and we will answer it here in the podcast. You can also also apply to be on the podcast. We will be having um, other interviews and people on the podcast to coach and do a Q&A well with. So the quote today is actually by Gary Keller, who wrote The One Thing, the book. And he says, what is the one thing that I can do such that by doing it, everything else will be easier and unnecessary? And as we know, universal law, when we are directing energy upon the subconscious mind, which is one of the super conscious mind and universal law, that usually we just kind of are distilling down our energy by diluting it, by having too many goals. We think we want this, then we change our mind, we flip flop all over. And if we have one thing and we direct our mind and we basically put everything else out of the mind, then we can absolutely create and have great, incredible efficiency in our lives. So the one thing is something that we teach in the spiritual psychology master's program as well with so many other things with business and all the above. But just giving you that distinction today, as we go into a new moon this week as well, whether you're watching this today or not, that there's a new moon this week. And every time in a new moon, it's a great time to manifest. And the reason why is because in a full moon, we get very emotional, right? We have like all this energetic and intense. It's a great time to use the feelings and the emotions to to really rev up and inform universal law. But in the new moon, it's an easier time to really have a clearer mind and create from nothingness without being the effect of all of our emotions, without the effect of everything in life, we get to actually come to a place where we're actually creating from a clear mind really and truly, okay? So I want to just talk to you today about the universal law of this week, which is the universal law of non-attachment, which is really important for us to embody because the more we attach, the more we try and control, the more we try and force things to happen, the actual less we're able to experience ourselves as creators. We're not here to change anybody or resist anything in life. We're here to accept people, places, and things in life and be able to really truly know that we get to create and innovate from any situation we're dealt in life, okay? So this, the affirmation with this law is let go, release, and allow miracles. So that's your affirmation this week. Let go, release, and allow miracles. So the universal law of non-attachment states, this universal law is set into motion the moment you attach a positive or negative meaning to anything that occurs or doesn't occur. So as you attach a positive or negative meaning to anything that's occurring, you instantaneously become the effect of whatever you're attaching the meaning to in the external world. So when we go into non-attachment, 
we don't make the meaning. We don't, we don't get to a place where we have to put meaning around anything. We literally get to just accept people and places and things, put no meaning around it, and then decide and ask ourselves, what do we want to create? What is it? Who do I want to be in the, this area of, our, of my life, right? So no matter what's going on, no matter where you're feeling resistance or where you're suffering your life, you can create non-attachment to it. So that brings me actually to the journal prompt this week. The journal prompt is to take inventory of where you are making negative meaning around people, places, and things, what the impact is around this, and looking at where you're making people wrong or divided or negative, okay? So you can grab this journal worksheet if you go below here in the notes. There is a free manifesting challenge, and we go over universal law. There's only one universal law and the manifesting spiritual awakening challenge. But each week, we give a distinction, um, a lesson within the member's portal and a journal prompt and everything else. You can grab that below here as well. Um, also, I'm super excited because I've created a coach session planner because so many of you guys do coaching and we know that we need to coach ourselves as well. We're always our number one client and we're helping others coach. Okay. And the new moon, this moon is um, the full flower moon. And this is a Taurus moon, which means that the Taurus is really the first earth sign. And that means all about earthly things. So this week you may want to take a look at where are your earthly, you know, we're here to master the spiritual realm, but we're also here to master our earthly realm, all the material wealth, everything. That doesn't mean we need to hurt mother nature. That means that we need to master the material realm as well. So just looking at where you are wealthy, income, material possessions, or loyal, heartfelt, and loving as well. So in order to have your earthly material realm, you need to love what you do. You need to be loyal to what you do. You need to live in faith around it as well. So that's really around what's the new moon. So thinking about what you want to create, your one thing for this next cycle of the next 28 days of the moon cycle, what is it that you truly want to create in your life that is in the earthly realm that you can be loyal to, that you love? And that's so important for soul-based entrepreneurs, coaches, and everything that we do to leave our legacy. So that brings me to the client case study, the coaching case study this week. So I have a client and she is married to a very wealthy man. And she is having struggles within her marriage and she keeps complaining and she keeps thinking if he changes, like so many of us, very codependent, right? And so we, of course, we've been diving very, very deep into her trauma work and her identity stuff to her release, what she needs to release around it. But in the meantime, I gave her one spiritual practice that she can incorporate into her life that has changed actually everything instantaneously. And the one distinction is this to no longer make her husband wrong. So it's a very advanced practice for all of us. Can you no longer make people wrong? And I promise you that the moment that you stop making people wrong, something is energetically going to shift. And it's a practice, man. She has to get in there and do meditation and prayer and, and remember to not make him wrong. And it is something that it, it becomes the love becomes her guru, right? The love becomes her master class of this thing called life. So the one thing that changed her life was not making her husband wrong. And it was really what changed her to the embodiment of who she needs to be, recognizing that she doesn't want to get a divorce, right? And I would never tell anybody to get divorced. She wants to make it work, but she wants to not suffer as much. So this brings me to the serenity prayer, which has been such a big prayer in my life, which is, we don't say God, we say source in here, but source within me, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. So anytime we're suffering, it's because we want people, places, and life to be different than it is. When we tap into that source within us, we, we take back our power. And so as we go into this week, I want you guys to know that I'm with you in spirit and in mind and in the source within that field, that quantum field within. I recognize that wherever we are no longer making a division or making anyone wrong outside of ourselves, we're able to come into the divine source with them and really be the power, be the innovation, be the miracles, be that transformation that we want to see in the world. And so we just take a deep breath together and just asking ourselves, what is the one thing I can do that would change my life? And for me, it is having a spiritual practice.
What is the one thing in my life that I can do that would change my life, that have the biggest impact on my life? And you may take that into your meditation today. You may take that on your walk, into your journaling. What is the one thing that if I committed to that one thing, my entire life would change? And so taking a deep breath together, exhaling out, I recognize this divine source within me is infinite, infinite. It is a well of wisdom. It gives, it is the giving source of all of life for abundance and prosperity and vitality. And I recognize I no longer hand my power out to the external world. I come back into that one divine source, into the truth of who I am. And I live this divinity every single day with every single breath. And I just say, thank you. Thank you, thank you for the truth that sets me free. As together we say, and so it is. Thank you for tuning in to The Dr. Aaron Show. If you're ready to transform your life, discover your soul's purpose, and manifest your dreams, go to draaron.tv. Join me in my life-changing events, membership, or certification. If you're ready to become a certified coach and get trained in metaphysics of mind, manifestation, and the creative process, subconscious reprogramming, trauma recovery healing, spiritual psychology, universal law, and much more, go to draaron.tv. If you're receiving value from the show, I would love it if you would share it with a friend and give it a five-star review. Have a beautiful day and may you live your truth.